Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This one's going to be a quick one. Um, it's just on salt water tanks and obviously to top up when the evaporation hits, uh, you're going to need a uh, auto top off system or a float valve to do that or you can top off manually but by doing that you're going to have to be doing that daily, uh, especially on a bigger system. So um, the way you do the evaporation is to have some fresh water auto topping off the system um, which mine is uh, just below I'll show you so I've got a sump and then at the back here I'm just going to show you that little blue light has a lens um, and uh, it's magnetized on the other side and that keeps the uh, chamber always at a certain level when it evaporates and that's my return pump section uh, just must keep these lenses clean um, and uh, they'll work perfectly fine. Had no issues with this. Um, I will find the branding out if you're interested, but this is a great little uh, ATO for smaller systems, probably under 100 gallons. Um, but yep, yeah. so the ATO will just come on and off when it needs to. And my 25 drum, nothing special, is down here. Got a camera pointed at it. This is purely for when I'm away on vacation, just so I can see how much is left. And you can see I've written those bars there, minimum, uh, the medium and the max. This way on camera I can tell exactly where it's uh, heading to. So with the uh, fresh water, uh, we are using um, RO water, which is reverse osmosis. Um, and uh, this is zero TDS and the way you do this is just by using a TDS pen you can get these on Amazon uh, relatively cheap um, I'll just get this out of the packet sorry so um, just comes as a pen turn it on uh, ppm zero you want it at and so we're just going to test this water which we just made which we know it is zero um, which I'll show you another way so If you're buying your RO from the store or you're buying pre-mixed salt water, just be wary that it's not always zero. Um, so we are in and it's reading, I'll go down a little bit more just in case. So we're reading zero. Um, you should always have a backup of these or have spare, um, spare batteries just in case. Um, so we're just going to take you to the where the salt water is being made. Just anyone thinks it's such a complicated thing to do. Uh, the reason you're using zero TDS obviously is to prevent unwanted contaminants in your water because um, you don't know what your um, supply is made of, um, and there will be a lot of uh, kind of uh, ammonia and phosphates and things like that in your water column. Um, plus, it's treated um, in order for us to drink it as humans, but for fish especially saltwater aquariums, um, it's not a good idea. It will just help prevent uh, unwanted algae issues in the tank like green hair or uh, algae or anything like that. Um, just helps prevent it more than anything else. So I always have one of these on standby. I'm just gonna show you where I make the salt water, uh, the uh, fresh water now. Okay, so this is really a relatively easy setup. This is a TMC uh, 50 gallon per day, um, I believe it is. Um, you have um, just a little gauge here. This is zero at the minute because I'm draining off the membrane. So basically what you're doing is when you finish using it each time, you'll have this in this position. And now you can see the waste from the water is very minimal. When you turn this, it will flush out the membrane, which is this one here. So as the chamber is the pre-chamber, cleans the water, the carbon block, and then it will come through the membrane. And um, you would add the deionized resin. I've got two of these on here for double double protection. This will polish the water to zero TDS basically. And you can add these um, after the fact. So these don't come with it, but these are rel relatively cheap to add. Also, you can add an auto aqua, which is basically to tell you that it's zero TDS out on the blue line, which is for the fresh water, so that's zero TDS. So you're just double double checking everything really just to make sure that that is correct. There's zero on this side coming out uh, and this end is around 300 uh, on that side of it. So you can see in the bathtub here, 
you've got no issues um, of it um, obviously making a mess, leaking out all over the place. Um, I think this system is around 80, 90 pounds um, without the resin canisters, which probably are around another sort of 15 to 20 pounds plus the resin, which will last you a long time. So if you buy a bag of resin for like eight or 10 pounds, uh, really easy to do. And then you're not lugging buckets home on the way home for that. So guys, if you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe. And it's just to give you some help on zero TDS water. Thanks for watching. Bye.